Hello, and welcome to Waynesburg Landing's Qigong and Tai Chi Long, Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan just translates as Supreme Ultimate Fist, as original martial art, still used for that sometimes. Qigong translates as energy cultivation. So, it starts off by getting your foundation set up, and you want to build a foundation like you're going to build a house that's going to last for a very long time. And you have your feet about shoulder width apart. Feet as parallel as you can get them. If you have issues with knees, hips, or ankles, you need to get your toes out a little bit, that's okay. Everything in this should adapt to however you are, whatever shape you're in at this moment. And then you only do 70% of whatever your capability is, so you warm up, you get stronger and more flexible without having to push yourself, which greatly reduces risk of injury. You want to get yourself as firmly connected to the floor as you can. So you have your feet about shoulder width apart. You have uh, acupressure points in the center of each forefoot, translates as bubbling wells. There's a lot of Chinese medicine involved with these. You visualize an energetic connection attaching you to the yin energy of the earth. You can also visualize roots growing from the ball of the foot at the base of the big toe, ball of the foot at the base of the little toe, and it's sort of the heel. Just going deep into the earth again gets you very stable, very connected to the earth. One of the things Harvard Medical School found with balance issues in people is oftentimes over time they start to lose uh, sensation of how the bottoms of their feet feel against the floor, against the earth. So it's just reestablishing those connections. Rooting is used as a visualization in Yang style Tai Chi. There's a lot of visualization in this. If getting your feet so firmly connected splattens your feet out and causes your knees to bow in, just raise your arches up till your knees are pointed in the same direction as your toes. And everything we do, knees and toes, will be pointed in the same direction. There will always be some bend in your knees, always be some bend in your elbows. Never fully extend, that can lock a joint and might be extended, that can hurt you. But also never fully compress, that can also injure you. And the purpose of all this is for health, to get healthy and stay healthy. Once you're connected to the yin energy of the earth, you connect yourself to the yang energy of the heavens. You have another acupressure point called the Ba Wei. It's the same as the French chakra in yoga. It's not exactly the center of the top of your head, it's back a little bit. You visualize an energetic connection there, pulling you straight up, a line attached there, pulling you straight up. As it does, it stretches you up, makes you taller, stacks your vertebrae on top of each other. It starts to make adjustments to your body as well. Tops of your hips become parallel to the floor. The tailbone drops down a little bit and the hips move back a little bit. Flattens out your stomach and your lower back. If that doesn't feel comfortable, just relax into whatever feels best for you. Tops of your shoulders are parallel to the floor. And this just relax down the center of the line. So you're not up around your ears or slouch forward or pull back. You're just relaxed. Imagine you're line across your eyes and yours is parallel to the floor. The line pulls the back of your head up and touch your chin in a little bit and probably moves your head back just a bit to get your head nice and balanced on your shoulders. Your head's not tilted in any direction. One of the issues with balance, your head weighs about 10 pounds and for every inch or so out of alignment, it adds an extra 10 pounds of perceived weight that the muscles in your neck, shoulders, and lower back have to support to keep you upright. So one way to reduce pain and improve your balance is just check where your head is on your shoulders and make sure it's nice and aligned with the rest of you. At this point, if you were to drop a line from the flyaway spot to the center of your body, you'd pair me and you hit the floor right in the middle of the foundation. Your foundation is an imaginary line around the outside of your feet. And you want to be centered over that right hand in everything you do. At this point, you focus on your breathing. You want to breathe from your abdomen. Typically, as we get older, we breathe more from up here. Breathing from up here is a stress-related breath, a stress response breath. Breathing from down here in the abdomen is a relaxation response breath. When you breathe from down here, it lowers your blood pressure, lowers your breathing rate, your heart rate, your blood sugar, it changes the size of your pupils and moves blood from the extremities back into your internal organs, it does a lot of nice things. It lowers the stress hormones in your bloodstream. Take some practice. You 
think the exhale lasts just a little bit longer than the inhale. That also increases the relaxation response. Another way to get the relaxation response going moderately quickly, and again, it takes some practice, is to relax all the muscles in your face. We express our emotions with our faces, so when you relax the muscles there, you relax all of it. If you feel any tightness anywhere in your body, just breathe into it and let it soften. Let your arms float up, follow me. With all the movements, slow, just not to move it towards your own resistance. So your arms are reaching out. Turn your palms towards your face. Drop your elbows as you press in. It's like you're pressing your head back a little bit. Feel some movement in your neck. Bring your hands press out. And down. Drop your chin just a bit. Get some inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Let your arms stretch out. Exhale. And one more. And you're reaching out and just let all the joints expand. It's the principle of song, expansion and contraction. So again, keep softness and bending your body. And back to the center. Let your arms come up. The arm drops down. The other end, palm faces towards the forehead. Keeping those two points lined up is 70% of your range of motion to that side. Come back to the center and straight places off to the other side. Inhale to the center and exhale out. And just keep going. Your arms come down. Turn your head to one side, either side it doesn't matter. But again, don't push it, but just flow into it. Drop your chin, roll across the bottom, back up to that center line, straight across. And exhale. And inhale across the center. One more. And just reverse. Back to the center. Nice this forward shoulder rolls. Starting at the top and working your way down. If you have issues with rotator cuffs, you can just rotate your arms so your palms are facing behind you. Rotate your elbows, whichever feels best for you. And just reverse. Inhale up, exhale down. Arms face first towards the floor, then towards the sky, then towards you, back again. Let your arms come up. Fingertips point towards the ceiling. If you can, you bring your arms in so your palms and forearms are touching. If that causes you any issues, just let your arms relax outwards. But at this point, we're opening the upper back and then it's opening the chest as you inhale and exhale. To the center, just pause there and extend your arms. Feel some movement in your elbows and arms extend out and come back, but not all the way back. Up and back. Exhale and inhale. One more. When your fingers are pointed straight up, just pause for your wrists. You just let your hands tilt towards you and away from you. Towards and away from each other, and I've never done this when my wrist didn't pop, so especially if you do a lot of keyboard work, that's you know, the work with your hands. Rotations one way, and the other way. Let's come down. Bring your fingers so they're facing each other back up high. As you inhale, just feel all the joints in your fingers and hands expand outwards. As you exhale, then just come back in. Just an inhale. And exhale. One more. And you make fists that come to rest by your hips. These are soft fists. If you open your hands and you see fingernail compressions, you're squeezing too tightly. Thumb is always on the outside. 
you reach out to punch, you feel a little sting outwards, and it opens up, and you sting outwards. Go, go back in, and exhale, and inhale. Last one. Back to center, then you're holding the ball. Elbow on the upper arm is drop lower than your shoulder. You can lower it up like this if it's stress on the rotator cuff. So just drop it down, lower hand rotates up, and this is down, so you're getting a nice stretch in your back. It's an exhale and an inhale. As you come back to the center, we're going to rotate on our center axis. That line will range from the bow way through the perineum to the center of the foundation. From one side to the other, but only from the hips up. So if I have my fingers on the hips, they will be, should be staying still. Go back. Stand on top. I'm going to rotate to line up on the hip on that side. Turn and go to the other direction. And you can synchronize your breathing. So inhale and move away. And exhale. Come back to the center, just check your posture and your balance and breathing. Put your hands to one side, shift all your weight into the foot on that side. Now that's one foundation, there's no weight on the other foot. And just reach out and you don't have to go very far, you just want to feel some movement in your hip. Back to the center, other side. So exhale, and inhale. I'm just going to do about three of each of these. And then it's starting at the top and working your way down. Palms are towards the floor, just like you're resting on the railing. Shift your weight on the one foot. Hands go back just a little bit. One foot goes forward, heel touches if you need to rebalance. Four foot touches in the middle, arms go forward, four foot touches behind. And again, just synchronize your breathing. I always kind of visualize the weight is like the pendulum on the clock. And arms are the counterweights, other side. The length of these movements is whatever you're comfortable with. You don't have to step very far on any of them. You just want to feel some movement and ease into it. The more you practice, the stronger and more flexible you become. For these, you have your feet towards the corners, a little bit of space between your heels. There's always going to be space on your arms, space between your fingers, space in the groin, etc. Have tennis balls on your arms, or you're holding the ball in your hands. All of these are designed to help energy move in your body, blood move in your body, and keep everything moving. Shift your weight on the one side. The other foot goes forward, and you counter punch when you off the hand. Come back. Same thing on the other side. Let's exhale and inhale. Come back, shift your weight. This time you're going to step straight up with where your toes were. Shift your weight into that forward foot. And remember, keep your knee behind your toes. You punch with your opposite hand and counterbalance. This one you can do a real nice full body stretch when you do it. Back to the center. Shift your weight into one foot so you can do heel and toe. Loosen up the ankle a little bit. Same thing on the other side. And then you pick a spot on the floor where you can touch the outside and inside of the foot. It's close to the same space, same place as you started. Same thing on the other side. Back, getting your posture balance and breathing. Shift your weight over. You're very keen to your hip, knee, and ankle. First, make rotations in one direction, in the other direction. Same thing, other side. And then reverse. Just come back to the center. Focus on getting yourself nice and centered and relaxed, just like you're walking down, sinking down in your shoes. And one of the things that um, 
is, is done in Qigong is you just kind of have to shake a little bit to get energy moving. You do that. And then, you forgot to drop a hand on your thigh. It's a little bit of a balance exercise. You need to keep your forefoot on the floor. You can do that. Come back to the center at the end. We just balance everything out. You inhale up. And exhale down. This is another one you can do visualizations. And your palms are facing towards the floor. You have acupressure points called lavon points, right where your fingers touch your palms. You can visualize green hand energy coming in from here. Clean home energy coming from the heavens, and you're pressing that down through your body. Chinese medicine sees illness and injury as a result of block or stagnant chi, too much chi. Chi just translates as vital energy. And one more. And this just balances everything out. Come back to the center. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, healthy, and well. We will see you next time, and we'll go into different uh, forms and styles. We'll bring it all together. Thank you.